to show you what a half a million dollar experience looks like. I promise this is going to blow your mind. In this video, you will find out why it costs a quarter of a million dollars to simulate going to space. Why it costs $50,000 to explore the depths of our oceans. Whoa! It's coming right at us. And every other experience we tried along the way. I'm standing on top of the tallest building in the world! Oh, I would never. All the way down to the cheapest experience I could find. Riding a camel. How long can I ride this camel for a dollar? One dollar, two minutes. Deal. Yeah. That's a great one dollar experience. Yeah. Ooh. Hold on tight. Wait, hold on tight, why? Oh, oh. It gets rocky. It gets oh bumpy. God. I wanted to ride camels in Egypt, but they're way more than a dollar, so I'm gonna throw the pyramids up and post. Yo! Yeah, it's beautiful. Dude, this is a workout to stay on the stage. I mean, I'm so high up oh, in the sky. Now you know what it's like to be me and Chandler. Okay. Well, one dollar only got us two minutes, and that time is up. Let's go have dinner in the sky. For $10,000, you can go 3,000 feet in the sky with a chef who uses this hot air balloon as her kitchen. You can see the shadow from the balloon over there in the field. Dude, that's a crazy <laughs> blend business. Than I expected, I'm not gonna lie. But this isn't your everyday dinner at 3,000 feet in the air. This Michelin star chef uses the flame from the hot air balloon itself to literally cook the food for the meal she's preparing. Miss the Beast. Oh. Yo! That's our next course of food, bro. Now we're about to have fish that they cooked with the fire from the hot air balloon. Oh, thank you. Oh my God. Jimmy, this is amazing. Look how beautiful it is down there. Such an amazing view while we eat. This fish never dreamed of being this high up. <laughs> if you got an extra 10 grand and want to impress a girl, I would recommend this. Every single one of these 10 gourmet courses if I had an extra 10 grand, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't need to impress a girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I had an extra 10 grand, I wouldn't need to impress a girl. I ain't gonna lie to what? This was phenomenal, but I still had one question I needed to ask. As a Michelin star chef, what do you think of this Feastables bar? Very good in balance. And what I like is the crunch and the chocolates. Feastables is now Michelin star proof. The 10K experience was very beautiful. Amazing. Up next is the 50K experience. And Chandler and Carl have no idea what I have in store for them. What do you think of the yacht? I think it's beautiful. It's pretty. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think it costs 50 grand for the day? Uh, I feel like this ain't, you know what I'm saying, bro? What? Like, no. it feel, I don't feel like it. Over there. We're gonna go on a, a submarine. submarine? Oh my God. You guys ready to explore the floor of the ocean? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Oh my. What? We're not doing that. Let's head over. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Let's go explore the floor of the ocean. Okay. All right. This is awesome. <laughs> Whoa, I can already see fish. Look, we haven't even gone down yet. Look, it's a barracuda. You guys want to scrape the floor barracuda. of the ocean? We can. We can do anything. We have this entire submarine to ourselves and can explore whatever we want. Let's do everything. Except crash it. We are not allowed to do that. Okay. And to make sure we got the very best angles down here, we paid scuba divers to follow the submarine. Isn't this cool? Let's communicate with them. Shark behind. Everyone freak out, okay? Start freaking out. <laughs> Got him. And while we're underwater, Tariq and Nolan are also on a $50,000 safari in Africa. And we're going to see if we see more cool creatures down here than they do over there. Spoiler, we will. This is gorgeous. All right, let's go find the king of the jungle. We cannot leave Africa until we see a lion. Do you understand? I do understand. Why do you point at me like that? Look, 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 look. Oh, we're on. Yeah. I feel like a safari in Africa would be way cooler than diving in the ocean. But that's just me. You scared him. Oh, you scared him. You're I'm sorry. I shouldn't yell. I'm not supposed to yell. It's zebras. I feel like zebras. Zebras. Like if I was a lion, I'd it's a zebra. A zebra. They just look thick. What? What? Bro, this is so worth fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, this is so worth Jimmy's fifty thousand dollars. Wait, Carl. What if instead of being a ship, that's a submarine? We're taking this thing back up immediately. <laughs> wow. What? Look how how close we are to those rocks. Oh. Whoa. Is it okay how close we are? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. All right. But we weren't the only ones getting up close and personal. Zebras, where are you going? Hey, buddy. Wait. Oh my gosh. Come back. Yo, I haven't been to the zoo in a minute, bro. I forgot how like large all animals are, bro. Yo, that giraffe was freaking giant. Even in the video, I could tell that giant that that giant was giraffe. That's what I was gonna say. That giraffe was a giant. What the heck? Yo, when's the last time I went to the zoo? What's the last week? When's the last time you went to the zoo, bro? You know what I'm saying? You should go to you should go to your nearest zoo right now. Don't finish the video, just go. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Well, there's two right behind you. Oh, they are unnervingly close. They are very close. <laughs> oh, it's awfully oh, close. It is coming towards oh, us. Oh, oh, oh. He's got charged by an elf. It's the coolest thing ever. Look at him. 
That thing is a unit. That's my dad. Oh, he about to mate. This Imagine. Is a submarine. I'd rather see this than a fish. Also, my heart's beating out of my chest right now. And that was the 50K experience. What we have coming up next is even better. This thing pales in comparison to the $250,000 zero gravity experience. This company will fly you up and then nose up, creating a zero gravity environment inside the plane. The $250,000 And then nose dive? Starts now. <laughs> oh, my water is oh, oh, my God. What is going on right now? Oh, my God. Yes, I'm loading. Go on. Oh, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, this is sick. On this next drop, we're going to race to the other side. Turn on zero gravity. But the plane is nose diving? Is it safe? Is this FDA approved? Oh, we made it! Oh, we won! We made it! We won! Guys! Turns out racing without gravity doesn't work so well. But luckily, Carl had a better idea. I'm gonna test out a leaf blower. All right, wait for it. Oh! <laughs> He's spinning! Oh! 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 He's actually spinning! That makes sense, actually. And before we turn the gravity off again, we're gonna try to make some of our Mr. Beast Lab swarms in zero gravity. You ready? Yeah. Whoa. No way, let's try to make some. I created the coolest toys ever. All you have to do is pour water into the tube, shake it, and you'll find out which swarms you got. I'm gonna squirt some water. Give me some. Ow. Oh, we're getting swarmed by these toys right now. This isn't as easy as I thought, but anyways, there's over a 119 swarms to collect. You can find swarms in packs of 12, packs of five, and packs of two. Available at Walmart, Target, and Amazon in the United States, and everywhere around the world at your top toy retailers. It's my favorite. But y'all noticing Mr. Beast is turning into like The Rock? Not in, as in like, can you smell it with The Rock? You know what I'm saying, bro? But like, the dude just a walking ad. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a walk. You know how The Rock is literally just like, he's an ad just waiting to happen. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's like the same with like I feel like The Rock, Logan Paul, KSI, Mr. Beast. They're just walking ads, you know what I'm saying? Hey, make your bread, ain't gonna lie. Make your bread how you make your bread. These are the most exciting toys this holiday season, and they're flying off the shelves. Carl, Ken! Make sure you buy Mr. Beast Labs before they're sold out. Oh, that's gonna be cool. <laughs> Hold on, Nolan, catch. Oh god. Yeah! Body slam! Oh god! Oh, god. I have no idea how the $500,000 experience is going to top this, but let's go find out. And after going all around the entire world to film this video, we're at the $500,000 experience! This is the craziest view of ever. What is Unlike that? Unlike any spectacle seen before in the history of oh, mankind. I don't know, but for some reason I just want to jump off of that, like with a, with a parachute, obviously. You know what I'm saying? I'm not freaking psycho. Just, just jump though, and then just nosedive for like a good 30, like, Three seconds, and then put my parachute. My friends and I are about to see what half a million dollars can allow you to experience in the most luxurious metropolis in the entire world, the city of Dubai. A I was gonna say it's like Dubai. The desert, but created for pleasure. And at the end of this video, I'm hey, going yo. to become one of the few individuals in history to stand on top of the tallest building in the world. We went all out. It is going to blow your mind. Let's go have some fun. How are we here? So after we found our way off this 500 foot picture frame, we made our way over to this castle of a hotel. Woo! Wow. This is insane. There's water in our backyard. The first two floors of this hotel room are magnificent, but the coolest one by far is the third level that's completely underwater. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. Whoa. Welcome to Atlantis. We love you all, except for you, Carl. Sorry. <laughs> he went into a thing with sharks just to make fun of me. For the record, there's over 80 sharks in this tank. And later in this experience, we're actually going I to feel like sharks, with them. And for the cherry I feel like sharks low-key got a bad rep, bro. Like, I feel like they, like, as long as you're not bleeding, because once they smell blood, you know what I'm saying? It's GG's, bro. As long as you're not bleeding and you're not fucking with them, like, and they're not hungry, like, you straight. You know what I'm saying, bro? But the moment, like, you would, like, Imagine you're a diver, you just you just grab a shark, bro. Like it's gonna bug out, you know what I'm saying, bro? Imagine somebody just comes and grabs you. You know what I'm saying? You're just walking, having a regular day, and then this weird looking creature you've never seen before fucking 
tries to pet you or some shit. You know what I'm saying, bro? You gonna you gonna bug out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like sharks get bad rap, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I like sharks probably like I like I would like a shark to be my spirit animal. On top to wrap all this up. Come on, we're gonna go skydiving. No way. Yes. Dude, I was just talking about doing that. Thousands and thousands of feet in the air. I would do it. Ain't gonna lie. Don't worry about that. Let's go race F1 cars. Yeah. And what better place to do so than at the Dubai Autodrome, home to some of the fastest cars in the entire city? Just grab whatever car you want. Let's go race. All right. Yeah, let's go. And I called up some of the biggest local creators to have a field day with these supercars. The big Dubai creators. Let's have some fun. <laughs> they are going so fast. And this is just the first of many experiences we're gonna be doing here. We are just getting started. I'm ready to race. Jimmy, no, no! Come on, Grandma! I don't think my mom will be happy watching me race. I don't think she could drive Makes sense. if she wanted to. That's illegal, okay? That's like, like, that's really illegal. While my friends and I were pretending to be race car drivers, <laughs> Carl was getting ready to drive an actual Formula level race car. I look so cool now. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Off to a rocky start. I'm driving a Formula car. This He's not is driving. The best day of my life. There's no way, bro, driving. Like it's being like remote control from somewhere. <laughs> I don't believe. I don't believe Carl driving that. Price of this experience, we actually got to keep this brand new Lamborghini. I want to enjoy it a little bit. Me. Oh, in case you're curious, this bad boy is fast. Let's go to an NBA game all the way in Me. Abu Dhabi. But to be honest, guys, Ooh, Abu I'm not Dhabi. the guy who likes to drive around sports cars. And plus, we cannot find a parking spot. So I'm just going to find someone to get this thing to. Do any of you watch the Mr. Beast channel? Yep. That says subscribe. Can I just give you this Lamborghini? Uh, I prefer someone else to have it. Oh. What, what the? <laughs> I got to go to Dubai, bro. You know what I'm saying? The people there, they just they seem real just nice. You know what I'm saying, bro? We just got a Lambo. He said, "I prefer you give it to somebody else." I want to live around people who have like-minded thoughts like that. You know what I'm saying? Could you give that to anybody in America? Thank you. Know, yoink, yoink. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I would get to get hurt in Dubai, the citizens will be able, like, will help me way quicker and faster than if I were to get injured in America. I ain't gonna lie. I'm moving to Dubai. Final offer. Hey, sir, security, can you come over here? Oh, he's subscribed. Can I just give you this Lambo? Yeah, please. All right. <laughs> this is officially your Lamborghini. I'm actually shaking right now. This is why you got to make sure you're subscribed. I'd hate for you to lose a Lamborghini. Hey, boys, what are you doing? We got courtside tickets. Enjoy. I'm so happy. With the Lamborghini now off my hands, I got to sit courtside at a pro basketball game. Who's playing? But instead, it just ended up turning into a photo shoot. Then afterwards, I said hi to Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey! And after that, Russell Westbrook. And with $200,000 worth of experiences left to do, up next, we got to take over a massive water park. That's crazy. For Halloween, one of my homegirls um, came over dressed as Steve Harvey, bro. Do I have a pic of her? I don't think I've got a pic, bro. Yeah, I'll ask her. I'll ask her. I'll ask her. Um, I'll ask her to send a pic. In the middle of and then she does, I put that in the end of the video. I heard you're the alpha. That is an alpha thing to do. And since that wasn't enough, I am now in a giant pool with 80 sharks and stingrays. Hello there, sir. Hey, hey, come back here. I was trying to talk to you. It's like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Bro, they look like aliens. Hey, Yo, it got so cool. <laughs> I am Aquaman, the king of the sharks. My first decree is the sharks by him and not me. Agree? Oh, attack him! Attack him! I am your leader. Attack him! <laughs> that should not exist. I think they just unplugged my oxygen. Well, before this guy turns me into fish food, let's go get our own dinner at a restaurant straight out of the future. Hello, everybody. Jamie, you go sit in there. What is this, Jimmy? I don't know. I don't think I've ever sat at a restaurant this far away from my friends. Gentlemen, prepare yourself for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Oh, oh. oh hell no. Oh. We start with our first appetizer. Take it in one bite. Cheers. Cheers. What if I don't like it? Is it good? This is amazing. That whole plate was just that one bite? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, oh. That was the an answer and a laughter of someone who just scammed you, bro. He said, yeah. <laughs> like, yo, 
Yo, he said, thanks for the millions, my guy. <laughs> this food's not going to fill you up, nor is it going to be delicioso, my guy. You're just going to be left confused. Left, why, why did I come here? Oh, whoa. He said, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah. <laughs> it's like a Call of Duty mission. Am I getting hacked? I thought or this the was a restaurant, not a movie theater. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> This nine course meal is surrounded by full 360 interactive visuals that change based on the dish. Yo! That's fire. Wait, does it? Oh, it responds to your touch. <laughs> Boys, we're now defending Earth. I'm impressively bad at this. But even though the room was impressive. Dude, they're getting tripped up on my water right now. <laughs> Look at that. It was the one of a kind food and drinks that made this experience truly unique. You can touch the glossy to I don't know. You. Uh... We got to try nine mouth-watering courses from freshly caught seafood. Whoa. Bro, that's oh not God. a lot of food, bro. The rich people, like, just not eat? Are they, like, not hungry, bro? You said a four-course meal. Look, bro, those are all, like, snacks. They're all, like, the little snacks. You know what I'm saying? They're little snacks. Can I get a four-course meal, please? You approve? Oh, yeah. Hey, we found one Chandler likes. They even had one final course specialized just for us. Who is that? That is Chandler. That is not. <laughs> bro, that is not me. <laughs> but anyways, let's keep the experience going. All we have left before I literally fall out of the sky and climb the tallest building on Earth is to test my fear of heights at a pool suspended in the sky. Look at this view. <laughs> Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Yo, Whatever that's... you're seeing right now does not do this justice. No way. Standing over 600 feet in the sky, this 360 degree infinity pool gives you a breathtaking view of every square inch of the city. Let's hop on in, boys. Yeah, I'm getting in. That island behind me is man-made. Everything about this is mind-blowing. Now we're gonna stick this bad boy over the ledge. Jesus, man. Check out the view. Is that not amazing? We're on top of Dubai. Yo, why am I heart pounding? It's time we fall from the sky. Dude, you're just falling to the earth. No, you're falling to this man-made island. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Buckle up, because what you're about to witness, I never thought I'd do in my entire life. Literal maniacs, who does this willingly? But what would a video about Me? experiences be without attempting to face one of my biggest fears? Falling out of the Bro, sky. Bro, I was about to skip up. Oh. Bro, I was skydiving in a, in a heartbeat, bro. You know what I'm saying? Prince one of those me? yes. Prince one of those, yes. Prince, yes. <laughs> Prepare for takeoff. And get real, we're going up. I know. Oh, gosh. I can't believe we're actually doing this. This is crazy. What are the odds I die? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> Approaching 10,000 feet. We are so high. I'm not ready. Jimmy! I'm not ready. Carl, come on, you're going first. Jimmy! I hate you! I think my heart! Oh my god! Yeah! We're swimming! The big cameraman. Yo, look at the cameraman, though. Yo, W freaking camera. You know how, you know, bro, the, the camera, bro, shout out to the cameraman, bro. You know the skill you got to have to jump out of a plane backwards to catch an angle, my guy? So, bro, so you got a cameraman underneath him, and then the the other cameraman just jumped out the plane to get the footage, bro. Yo, I need I need a W in the comments for the, for the cameraman, bro. What the heck? I need a W in the chat for the cameraman, bro. What? Yo. Yo, Jimmy, I'll be a cameraman next time. You want to buy a plane? I got you. Ain't gonna lie. Oh my god! I'm not going. <laughs> bro, you gotta do it, bro. Ah, how was it? Uh, I'm scared. You scared? Yeah, we're still pretty high up. <laughs> this is probably my biggest fear ever. That's a hairy ass dude. <laughs> but I did this for you guys. Ah, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, ah, okay. I'm not dead. I'm alive. Where's Chandler? Did Chandler not jump? Where's Chandler? Chandler either didn't jump or splatted on the ground. Oh, God. I hope he didn't jump. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. I'm not doing it. Well, it's a good thing I didn't ask Chandler to join me on the biggest experience of this whole video. Because behind me is the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building on Earth. Bro. And a rap you're telling me you plan for, you plan to jump out of your, 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 your ah! You plan to jump out of the plane with your friends and you went all the way to the plane and you, got, you, got, you went all up in the air and you didn't jump? I wonder how people do. Like, come on, bro. You gotta jump, bro. 
You got to jump. We're not going to go all the way to, we're not going to go all the way there and then, and then let that fear take over, bro. Nah, nah, we're going to go all the way there and then jump. Of this experience, I'm gonna go stand all the way on top of it. The first step of reaching the peak of this 2,700 foot building is taking jump. a series of elevators over 160 stories. Yo, Jimmy sky. looks good. And as for the remaining 900 feet, I had no choice like been but to out. climb to the top myself. This thing is tall. Has a lot of ladders. No diddy shit. I underestimated how hard it is to get up to the top. But even after a full hour of climbing, there was still a lot of skyscraper left to go. I thought I finally made it to the top, but there's still a lot left. This thing never ends. Step by step. But you gotta I go down to too. Whether I really wanted to keep going. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Surely we're almost there. <laughs> Take that as a no. But despite all this endurance, I reminded myself that this was my moment to be one of Yo, the most good ever to experience standing on top of the tallest building on earth. I knew there was no turning back. All right, home stretch. Woo! All right. See, I don't know if I would do that. I am standing on top of the tallest building in the world. This is insane. Holy crap. Because my urge would be to jump. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my urge would be to jump. Oh, I'll admit, feasible stays better on the ground. Because on the ground, I'm not on the verge of passing out. I'm so afraid of heights. I find time and time again that when I face my fears, I usually end up enjoying it and learning a lot about myself. I'm very grateful for this experience. And I would encourage you guys to go outside your comfort zone. Do something you wouldn't normally do. I think you'll end up enjoying it and learn a lot about yourself. I agree. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the effort we put in this video. I love you guys.